<clears throat> good morning guys it's Thursday morning and uh, it's been a good uh, little trading morning but what I want to say before I forget and before you get bored and go away is that this I've said it before on numerous videos this histo alert is almost good enough to trade on its own you could have one MA say the eight hourly MA on your chart that I've just taken off for the moment on this this is a um, second take of a video that's why all the lines are on there I do apologize because I got interrupted um, well I interrupted myself with a coughing fit I do apologize <coughs> excuse me so basically what I'd done all, with all the lines was uh, first thing I said was uh, in the previous video is the first job I do when I open my charts is check this out because it is a it's not the best indicator in the world it's not the most reliable indicator in the world but it saves you having to go through all these charts looking for um, a potential uh, trade pound and Aussie dollar were both extremely weak Aussie dollars now moved to the middle of the road but pound is still weak and yen is was massively strong yen was up in the 7.4s or something and red pound was down to about 1.6 and bright blue that's the first job I do use that second job I do is start moving from my time frames checking to see what's going on starting on the monthly and the monthly is clearly bearish but the main thing uh, of importance is the fact that we have a mon monthly confirmation down we're, we're massively um, down and the monthly low high high low high high is broken with a break and close of the penultimate low I am aware that drawing lines on the charts can be very confusing so I'm going to say again at this point you can rely on this and the three candle reversals to get brilliant trades if this confuses you too much then drop it and just do the occasional three can reverse candle reversal to get your bias now the weekly reversed way up here it's a good it's a given that it is in alignment with the monthly because obviously the higher time frame always takes precedence but what you've got to watch is that you haven't had a weekly reversal to the long side and the price would have had to have come up and broken and closed this one here high low lower high lower low it hasn't done it so the weekly is aligned with us the lines will all relate to lows and highs on the left hand side they're all labeled up so when we get to the lower time frame you can have a look at them yourself but critically this has broken the previous weeks um, bust bust below zero pull back and then break and close break the low of that one and close that was last week so that signals that this week should be a bearish week and lo and behold this whole candle has is red that's this week and we're on Thursday of this week then you need to check you haven't reversed on the day daily chart to the long side we did here so it was out of alignment until we broke down here which was yesterday so we've broken and closed low high high low high 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 low lower high lower low and then a lower high and lower low and close that's the confirmation to the downside so now we're back in alignment with the monthly the weekly and the daily is aligned always be prepared for pullbacks but cable if I remember rightly was a day ahead so um, I think cable yeah cable pound dollar confirmed a day before this and had the pullback so whilst that isn't one of my rules we could add it to the rules always check all the different pound currency pairs to see what they've done and uh, this one would have said oh my god we've broken down closed down trended down we've even had the pullback now we've broken the low of that this is going down 
disclaimer time do not trade what I talk about on here do your own analysis so we've got a big better idea that the pullback won't happen on GJ because it's already happened the pound has had its rally if you like it's they've done all the manipulation and the crookedness uh, inside of whatever is and uh, they are now the institutions are just piling on selling uh, not much more you can tell from this you've got lows over here that we've uh, drawn um, I've drawn the, the low on there daily low here support daily low here to see what happens when it breaks and closes below it on the lower time frames like h1 h4 so once again an eye on the um, histo alert and then h4 there was absolutely no way I could consider going long with this thing so if you can't go long you've got to go short I started at about four o'clock this morning I couldn't sleep my dog woke me up but um, at five or six o'clock then I start to get excited about price this one here this hourly bar here is um, eight o'clock last night four hour I do apologize this one was the close at 6 a.m. this is the open at 6 a.m. two hours difference on the uh, on the clock on the server clock here okay so prior to uh, considering trading at 6 a.m. we'd closed we'd broken the low and we'd closed below this is why this RSI histo in my opinion is priceless it's showing you when you've got more momentum in the market and <clears throat> you do have to be prepared for a pullback but we are prepared for a pullback because we've got the histo that will tell us it will turn green and then potentially red again on the lower lower time frames so we know we might have a pullback the histo will lead the way the candlestick reversals will lead the way so it is just common not common sense but it is just logical totally logical to me okay so on the hourly we're studying the histo now and the candlesticks we confirmed down over here way before I considered trading we'd even had the pullback that I talk about all the time and where did it pull back to look there's the low there and look we pulled right back to it okay last resistance uh, support rather broken will most likely get tested as new resistance m30 and remember all of these are logical so if you haven't broken the low of that one there to get into a trade it's quite possible that uh, we're going to pull back and mess about and it's happened we've got a low there through the 20 there but we're trading straight into a support line there that's why it bounced in my opinion there and you know it's just logical thinking guys this is so good so so good so if you've got a, a big old bust and break on the 30 minute here like this this one here you know in f it, it hasn't in fact broken that low but we don't have to break and close through that low because we haven't broken and closed upwards on the 30 minute okay it hasn't reversed on itself at this stage so you know we can rely on the histo alert I would never trade against an upward um, uh, reversal and it's debatable whether this was reversed hang on we will look sorry if this bores you the low is 429 the low of that one is 436 no this was the lowest low so that was the reversal candle high there so no reversal on the 15 minute to worry about but it's always wise to and it happened we closed and broke down here way before I considered entering then we've even had another pullback here 
and this is what I meant by the pullbacks going further on the lower time frames they tend to go into the um, reversal area here as opposed to sort of these higher time frames where they just come back over to the left hand side so uh, once again though if if you choose not to get bogged down with uh, the stuff that I live and breathe by for whatever reason I say to you concentrate on learning this histo alert because it is very very good it's not as good as the reversals and the nested reversals but if you want a very simple um, easy er easy er there's no easy trading then uh, learn how to use this histo alert can't express that enough and my videos you know if you look go back all over my videos there must be a hundred or so now with the rsi histo on there just stop going back any further when you the histo is not on the chart and you will see i've been learning this thing throughout the videos so the most recent are probably the most important but um they all it is all about the most important thing on here is three candle reversals the second most important thing um, is the histo and that's just useful to find um, price movements. This isn't a very good point to trade, consider trading, even though that's turned red. It's because it's so far away from the hourly 8 EMA. You want to be trading as near to the hourly 8 EMA. In other words, I mean the first trigger, signal, whatever you want to call it, nearest to the hourly 8 EMA, the 32 on this uh, time frame. This is risky now, but we've got a long way to go in our ADR. Price never moves in a straight line, in my opinion. You'll think it's going, and well, you'll do it. If you've got to never trade real money until you can do this with your eyes shut on demo, without with following strict rules. Okay, sorry, I'm digressing a lot. Now this is breaking through the low of that, but we've still got this uh, potential low here. To cause a bounce on price so not a particularly good place to consider trading so um, my trades two trades <clears throat> one there based on the histo alert again and really and truthfully if you've got a higher time frame um, positive signal then all of the stuff on the lower time frames is noise I hope that makes sense as well so here we can see um, we've got the RSI has just dropped below a previous red the, per the best place to trade is when it breaks that low of that red although the safest trade but we've got quite a lot the best trade is the first ones over to this side when the price comes below zero there's your optimum area to enter so long as the higher price higher time frames agree with you the higher time frames didn't agree with this lower time frame trade until this point which is why I waited and you can see all the jiggery pokery here there was a conf down there a break through the 20 you could have entered there you would have suffered a bit of drawdown not sure if I was watching this at that point but uh, I'll have a look at M1 yeah see there's the drawdown that's the pullback uh, that is the bust down so really wait for a break of the low of that preferably a break through the 20 which was what I did actually looking back on it now I could see this had broken through the 20 level and it was there was no um, buying momentum left in this at all it was just a question of hitting um, I just took six pips six pips out of that then as you can see and it went down double what I took out of it but that's fine as you can see also here now we've had another pullback and what I did was hit it again And that one took less than a minute 
to I just took the break of that low there this turned red it hadn't closed red but it was red and uh, again that was another 8 pip trade that one and we've got uh, it went on another 5 or 6 pips so 2 trades in total lasting 5 minutes and uh, very happy bunny but this is the job the three candle reverses if they confuse you and all the support and resistance levels if it confuses you just learn to use this baby break and close lower time frame pull back and we understand that from the three candle reversal so that can't be ignored either then the continuations and just use this across all time frames all right i can't stress that enough okay so if you want to just trade this then you can do with the three candle reversals and if this lot all the lines confuse you they don't confuse me at all if they confuse you don't worry just keep trading it on demo until you get your hit rate up to 90 percent nine out of ten trades and you're always entering at the best possible trade because you're trading with momentum so your stop should only ever be about 10 15 pips very maximum and that means you've got it wrong drawdown should rarely be more than about five or six pips that's why i go for five or six pips profit get your hit rate up using this thing and you will be a scalper and a very happy person too i should think okay so all of I've changed the tack of this uh, stuff because I'm trying to simplify it for you guys as much as I possibly can. That's all it's for. It's not because I've changed my system method, trading strategy or anything. Mine will always try stay the same. But if it makes life easier, having found this and knowing that it agrees with my um, price action um, knowledge I'm happy to say learn it it's good it doesn't repaint it works well okay sorry for preaching thanks for watching have a good day